that's my baby sister. You supposed to help me. When I ask you for some money, just give it to me. She loves to smoke weed a lot. And boy, weed's getting expensive. She said, I'm finna come beat you up. Her nail yeah. goes up my nose. Oh, and man. And my nose starts bleeding. She was getting in my face like this, like she was being bad. She <laughs> pulled out all of my hair. This sounds like a real brawl. Plaintiff Brittany Martin claims her big sister is a big bully who beat her up and broke her glasses. She's suing for $5,000. Defendant Erica Martin says sisters are supposed to help each other, but Brittany is straight up stingy. Please raise your right she hand. says she owes nothing. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. Thank you. The Honorable Judge Jerry Springer now presiding. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Najee. This is case number 081 on the docket, Martin versus Martin. Thank you, and You're welcome, welcome to both of you. I see we have here uh, the plaintiff, Brittany Martin. You are suing your sister, Erica, for $5,000 for assault, pain, and suffering, damaged eyeglasses, and, and an unpaid loan. Okay, let's start with Brittany. Brittany, what is your case? I'm bringing my sister Erica here and suing her for emotional distress and assault and a loan I gave her because when I borrow her money, she doesn't give it back and she lies about what she's using it for. Our relationship is on and off throughout the years and sometimes she feels like she knows everything and that because she's the oldest and also my sister has five kids. so. She tries to use things as in she's getting things for them. So um, our relationship over the years is not the best. We get into um, altercations and arguments. So by me being a little sister, I try to help out as much as I can. But sometimes she lies about what the reasoning for those loans and money I give her. She want to know what you need it for, what you got to do with it. What you... Yeah, sometimes I lie. I lie, yes I do, because I'm grown. I'm raising your niece and nephew. They don't want for nothing. So if I ask you for some money, why you want to know what I want and need it for? Why you want to know what I want to do with it? When you uh, loan her money, does she normally pay you back or once in a while pay you back? I mean, there's got to be some times that she did pay you back. Sometimes she may try to, but I always make her pay me back after I find out what she's using the money for. Sometimes she doesn't, but sometimes she tries to because she knows that she's in the wrong for what she's trying to get the money for. That's why I'm bringing her to court today because she says she's getting the money to provide for my nieces and nephews, but it doesn't go towards that. What do you think the money goes to? Well, the money goes to her go, um, buying weed and marijuana. She loves to smoke weed a lot, and yeah. that's where it mostly goes to. And boy, weed's getting expensive, yeah. Uh, now, what about this fight that you're talking about? Because part of your suit, in, in fact, most of your suit appears to be the emotional damage done because of an assault. What was that about? Last year in May, her car broke down. And she yes. asked to borrow my car. And by me being very, you know, um, giving and wanting to help my sister out because she has my nieces and nephews, I let her borrow the car for three days. And after she got done using the car, she asked me again, can I use the car again? I said, no, I don't really feel like it because you don't put gas back in my car. And my okay. car, it takes $20 to fill it up. So she used the car for three days. That's $60. Yes. She didn't fill it back up and she brought it back empty. And so when she asked me to, to, to borrow it the next time, I said no, because you didn't fill it up, and I don't really feel like, you know, giving you my car to borrow again. Judge, no. The truth is, Brittany is very stingy, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm her big sister. I'm her only big sister. I have six of her nieces and nephews. One to six, yes. five living, and I'm raising. Mm. When I ask Brittany for something, I have to go through hell and hot water to get anything from her anyways. I have to beg her. Brittany have money. Brittany don't spend money. Brittany have one kid. I have to go through all the things I have to go through to get money from her. It's just with my birthday. I'm being sued right now. This is what I go through. Brittany will give me money. Brittany will give me gas. She'll give me what I want. But when I, what I have to go through to get it, that's my baby sister. You supposed to help me and give me what I needed for. When I ask you for some money, just give it to me. You got it. And, and as far as paying it back, 
she don't ask me to pay her back, okay? I ask Brittany all the time, oh, you need something, you want something? And she always say, I'm good. That's her favorite word. Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Sister, you okay? You need gas? You need money? Ooh, That's a lie. I'm good. I'm That's good. That's a lie. I'm good. I never say I'm good. I never say that. She always when say she's good. When I find out what she's using the money for, I Hang always on, tell her Hang to on, pay man. me Let back. Let her finish. Let her finish. What man. happened with the fight, uh, Erica? So she got upset. Right. She cussed me out over the phone. And she called me all bees, not in my name. And she said, well, I'm coming over there, and I'm going to come beat you up. So I didn't really she believe said, her. Whoa, 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 whoa. She said she's coming over to your house to beat you up? How far away does she live? She lives about 30 blocks from my house. That's about 30 and a half minutes. From what did she live. take? Because she didn't have the car. So what did she take? The bus? Did she walk? Judge Jerry, she walked all the way to my house just to assault me. She walked over there. She comes into your house, probably sits down to rest. It's a long walk. <laughs> no, she didn't. No what judge. happened? No. When she got there, so before she got there, I was on the phone with my mother and I was telling her, well, Erica just told me that she's going to come up here and assault me. I didn't believe it because I'm like, we never got to that point. My mother said, well, we just go downstairs and lock the door before it gets to that point. I don't know how fast, I don't know if she ran or not, but she got there so fast, Judge Jerry. Like by the time I went downstairs to close the door and lock it, she was already walking in the door. And yeah. she didn't say anything to me. So I'm thinking, okay, everything is fine. We're going to talk it out. So she walks upstairs first. I, I lock the door, and I go behind her. So as I'm walking, I'm still on the phone with my mother. As I'm walking to the room, my mother's telling me, like, okay, what's going on? No, don't get into an altercation. I turn around, and she's trying to provoke me, and she slaps my glasses off my face. She slaps them off mm. my face okay. like this, and they fall. Yeah. Yeah. And when she slaps yeah. them off, we start fighting. Now, one of my lenses fell out of my glasses. So I yeah. picked it back up when I got the chance to, and I put it back in there. And so when we get to the living room, I'm against the wall because she's all in my face, just yelling, yelling in my face, so close that she's spitting on me. I can feel her breath, and she's, like, damn near kissing me. What is she saying when this is all happening? She's angry because I wouldn't let her get the car. So she's over there okay. saying, like, oh, you won't let me get the car. I'm your big sister. You're supposed to help out. I have all your nieces and nephews. I should be able to get the car because I have all my kids, you know? So she's trying to yeah. guilt trip me into letting her use the car. Yeah. Although I let her use the car for three days already. Did she punch you? She has long nails. So she pulled my hair and she scratched me. And as she's scratching me, we go against the wall. And so I'm pulling her hair also. We get to the dining room and I flip her. I try to push her over the couch. Pull my tracks out. This is my old show. Do you guys physically fight a lot? That's just the show that I'd rather be on no, than be here and be sued today. I'd rather be on your old show. This, this is, this is Brittany wow. just, no, I wouldn't no, tell judge. my side, Judge. No, Judge. Because Brittany not we, telling it right. We flip over the couch, Judge Jerry, and as we yeah. go over the couch, she takes me with her over the couch. And she has these long nails. So her nail yeah. goes up my nose and it scratches me. Oh, and man. And my nose starts bleeding. Yes, yeah. Judge. It no starts judge. bleeding. This and that. It's just, it's ridiculous. I don't even, at this point, I don't even know what is the reason why. Like, it can't be because of the car. It's something deeper than that. So as we're on the floor, my mom, she gets to the house. She hurts and gets to the house. And when we get up, my mom gets in the middle and she breaks up the fight. So Erica finds this as a, a reason to, okay, I have my shot now. She grabs the remote and she throws it at my face. And when she throws it in my face, my glasses push off my face and they crack. So my glasses are broke and I couldn't get new glasses for months. So I had to use the, the thing that goes on the, on the bread for the sandwich to twist the twist tie. I had to use the wire inside the twist tie thing and put it on my glasses and twist it until I had to get new glasses last month. All right, Erica, why don't you tell me your side of what happened? Because this sounds like... I mean, a real brawl. Okay, she judge, went into some uh, detail about the fight. Judge, it was not a fight. It was a tussle. It was not oh, a, a tussle. fight, Judge, okay? I'm sorry. Yes, it I was a tussle. Said tussle. A tussle. Yeah, what's the difference it was not between a fight. a fight and a tussle? A fight is, I'm going to throw blows. I'm going to punch you. It was an assault. I did not okay. assault her. 
Brittany was jumping in. I'm your big sister. When I say goals, you get in my face. She was getting in my face like this. And she was like she was big and bad. I'm your big sister, so I'm going to let you know where I stand at. So I pick her up yeah. every time she jump in my face. I pick her up and I slam her down on the couch. The last time I slammed her on the couch, Judge, we fell over the couch together. Look at me. I'm 110. Brittany is bigger than me. That's how her glasses got broken, Judge. Okay? Wow. And another thing is, Brittany pulled out all my tracks. I went home with a scarf on my head that day. <laughs> I, she put out all my hair. All of my hair was at my mom and her house. And they were sure born oh, together. Oh, you lost your hair? Yes, Judge. Mm. She pulled out all my hair. All yeah. of my hair, but like two tracks. She pulled it all out for me. Put it out. Yeah. Well, we was tussling, okay. and that's how we got out. Here's a question I have. You live, what, 30 blocks away or something, according to your sister. You walked or walked very fast or ran. So you were going to her place clearly with the idea of at least having a tussle. I mean, because if it was just a conversation, you could have picked up the phone and you guys could have been talking it through. But you were angry. And for 30 blocks, you went over there, right through the front door, and you started a tussle. Her glasses didn't just fall off. She wasn't trying to hear me on the phone. I asked her on the phone. I said, Brittany, okay, I need to use your car again, okay? I need to use your car again. I just used it. I put my gas in it. See, her thing is, her gas, do, my gas, I put $3, $2 in my tank, and I'm fine. Her gas, you got to put $20 in her tank. You know, what okay. kind of cars you got to put Erica, $20 in the tank? Okay, but Erica, even though that may not be nice, it's her car. If she doesn't want to loan you the car, it's her car. She's not required to. There's no law which says you have to give me a car when I ask for it, because if that's the case, then it's your car. It's not hers. So she said no. So what were you thinking going over there? She already said no. What was going to make her change her mind? Well, you were going to go over there and show her how angry you were, and you thought that would work. What do you want to say, Brittany? I just would like to say that after that happened, I was really hurt because when me and my sister get into altercations, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to see my nieces and nephews. So I tried to make it, like, you know, make it work after the fight. After seven months went past, you know, holidays passed and Halloween and Thanksgiving, and I didn't, I didn't speak to my sister for seven months because of the fight. Because it went to the point where I feel like it shouldn't. I shouldn't speak to her anymore because if you have to physically attack me over something that's mine, what is the reason for us to be in contact anymore? She's my older sister. I don't have any other siblings but my sister. So when we got to that fight, I didn't speak to her for seven months. And the reason why I was so scared because my nieces and nephews, they look up to me. And because I was, I was not contacting her, I had no way to get in touch with them. In December, after seven months of the altercation, she inboxed me on Facebook and she said that she wants to sit down and talk because she felt like sisters need to stick together and because she had, you know, a court uh, situation and she wanted me to support her. But I wasn't gonna speak to her until she apologized because it should not and it should never have gotten that far. And that really okay. hurt me. I'd like to see you apologize. Judge, I apologize to my sister. We done she done gave me more money, we didn't talk, we done did things together and everything, you know. Our relationship is better. Our relationship okay. is better now. I would like to see, as I'm sure everyone watching, would like to see you two sisters get along. I mean, that, that is a relationship that no one else can really interfere with. No one else is really ever going to be closer to you than your blood sister. I, I love mean, my sister. It's, it's, she know that. Yeah. I believe you both love each other. I really do. You're angry. And you're angry enough to, whether it's a fight, a tussle, but there's love there, and this is nuts that this has to come to court. I mean, when siblings argue and sometimes even, quote, tussle, you know, it shouldn't wind up in court. This is family. This is family. You just work this stuff out. Your sister does have one point that is really fair. You said before that because she has money, 
she should give it to you. But just because someone has money doesn't mean they're obligated to give it to someone else. It would be nice. It would be charitable. It would be a nice way for one sister to act to another. I get that. But it's hard to be angry with someone because they don't give you money when they have no obligation to give money. And so I think if there's that attitude, she's going to start to resent you after a while because she's going to say, hey, I, you know, it, it's, it's my money. I'm allowed to do with it as I wish. Just as you say, if I have money, it's not your business what I do with it. Well, she can be in control of her money, and she may decide, I don't want to give it to somebody else. Your sister would help you, or I would say should help you, because she loves you and she's a sister, and you help each other out when times are tough. But she's under no obligation. You can't assume that because she happens to have some money that she could give it to you whenever you ask. I mean, that's just the wrong attitude to have. And the other thing I would say is she suffered some damage. I mean, obviously, the broken glasses. If you were just both living in the same house and you got into an argument and one pushes the other, and that happens among siblings. But I can't get over the walking 30 blocks because, boy, I'm going to get my sister. You shouldn't wind up in court again, that this kind of stuff cannot go on, that you have to figure out a different way to deal with your differences. And there's a different way to ask for the money. And always to be conscious that if you're letting me use the car, I'll put some gas in. I'll do something. Think about how you can make each other happy, not how you can win the next fight. So my ruling is I'm going to find for your sister, for the plaintiff, $500, which will pay for the glasses. So I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $500. Moving forward, I feel like we should just be sisters and you shouldn't be obligated to feel like I owe you any money. Um, if you're willing to ask, I can consider it, but my money is not yours and we should just focus on being sisters instead of trying to fight over money. I feel like I'm sorry, sister, for the tussle. I'm sorry for owing you a lot of monies. I'm sorry for everything. We better now. I love you. and. I just want us to be better. Give me a hug. You forgive me? Yeah. Hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.